Kia ora team. My name is Ben and today we're talking about why we do strength testing. First thing, we need to know what the athlete's baseline strength is. In this way, we can compare them to the previous season to see if they're getting better, worse or staying the same, to see if their uh, off season or Christmas holiday was a little too good. Then we can use our results to calculate their training percentages. So if we look in a work at 80% of their one rep max, it's important we know what their run rep max is, not an old, outdated version. So we don't overtrain or undertrain. Then it's essential to know what your athlete's strength is because then we can monitor the progress of their training program. Are they getting better, worse, or staying the same? There's no point in doing a training program unless we're getting better. And if we're monitoring someone's strength, we can see if the program is working or not, and we can make changes. Another thing is we can compare their results to their competitions and also to elite athletes. If you want to be a world beater, we can find how strong your competition is and see how far we've got to go. Our strength levels are also important for injury rehabilitation. If I know how strong I was before I got injured, as a general rule, I want to be back at least to 90% of what I was before I look to return to sport. Monitoring people's strength in pre-season and also following injury gives us a guideline of when they're ready to return to sport. Before injury, there's two ratios we can look at that we're interested in if we're looking to prevent injuries. Agonist-antagonist ratio. And what this means is how strong is one muscle compared to the opposite muscle. If my quadriceps is substantially stronger than my hamstrings, then the force of my quadriceps extending out the knee will be too great for the hamstrings to contract and pull against, so it may pose an increased risk of hamstring injury. Therefore, if we do our strength testing and we see there's too much of an imbalance, then we can formulate our program to address that imbalance and hopefully minimize injury risk. The other ratio we're interested in is left to right balance. So if an athlete has the left hamstring being significantly stronger than the right, then this is going to pose a risk to the right hamstring. Knowing this pre-season is going to help us formulate our training plan to help addressing that balance. The last thing with regards to injury prevention is if we have access to an isokinetic dynamometer, we can get angle of peak torque, which is the angle that the greatest force is produced. This is useful because when muscles tend to tear, it's when they're lengthened and they're on stretch. If a muscle is strongest at a long muscle length, then it can pull itself back and save itself from being torn. If you find an athlete has an angle of peak torque where the muscle is in a shortened position, that necessarily means that it's going to be weaker at that longer risky part. So if we find this out with our strength testing, we can prescribe those athletes eccentric training programs to increase the angle of peak torque to longer muscle lengths and hopefully prevent injuries, like has been found with the Nordic Hamstrings Protocol. Alright team, that's why we test. Super important. Happy testing!